Hey guys, this is Dan from Let's Tank and I'm just going to quickly go over a little recap on what was announced at BlizzCon for World of Warcraft. The first thing that Blizzard announced was that Legion will launch in summer of 2016, probably before September 21st and pre-purchasing will give you a level 100 boost to you straight away. The regular version costs $50 and the deluxe digital costs $70. The pre-purchase will also give you early access to the Demon Hunter class which is going to be at least one week's early access. However, to access the Demon Hunter you need at least one level 70 character to create the Demon Hunter and you can only have one Demon Hunter per realm. Blizzard then went on to show a Legion cinematic for the prequel event for Legion. It's pretty cool, go check it out. It'll be on MMO Champion most likely and the Battle.net launcher. I'll give a link to the MMO one in the description below. We then got to see the new artifact weapons, all the models for the artifact weapons and a little bit of story behind one or two of them. They went on to say that there's a bit more story on their own website so go check it out. Blizzard then went on to show us some world and content overview, the first being the Broken Shore which is a 20 Alliance and 20 Horde player scenario. We're going to be working in unison to push the Legion back. In Legion there's going to be 4 leveling zones that can be done in any order as they will scale with your character. And for questing at end game content there's going to be daily quests which will stay around in your hero hut place and they're going to be there for a few days so they're not strictly dailies but they pretty much are dailies. There's no way to sugarcoat it. Legion will also implement two new starting raids. One will have seven bosses and one will have ten. The seven boss one's called the Emerald Nightmare and the ten boss one will be Suramar Palace with Gul'dan as the final boss. The new Legion challenge mode dungeons keep becoming harder as you defeat them and the rewards keep getting better. This is to complement the raiders and also replaces raiding for the more casual player. Demon Hunters will have a unique starting experience just like the Death Knight which will involve Illidan and the Black Temple from BC. Also they will get their own unique mount called the Fell Saber, it will be an epic mount just for the Demon Hunter. A flying achievement will exist at the launch of Legion but you won't be able to complete it at launch, you can start progressing on it though. There will be no new battleground in Legion, however Blizzard's main focus is on the new PvP progression system which they will be implementing. To get to the new class hall, each class will have their own class themed Deathgate style spell. Blizzard are once again changing the talent system. Talents will have less theme rooms, more meaningful choices, more spec specific talents and hundreds of new talents which will be implemented in Legion. Blizzard are finally fixing professions and you shouldn't be running out of content at endgame to do e-professions. Recipes will now have free ranks which will have 1 to 3 star rating. The higher the stars the rarer it is and the more efficient you'll be at at crafting it, using less materials and the actual piece having a shorter cooldown. There's going to be a full revamp of the transmog system called the wardrobe, which opens up your character's screen, you don't have to keep it in your bags and it just goes onto this screen, and every achievement you've ever had will unlock all the transmog for them achievements. Along with this you're now able to hide your shoulders, you can put different weapon enchant effects onto your weapon, onto your shirt you can now transmog and tabards will also be transmogable. Back onto the artifact power comes from quest bosses, rare spawns, rare drops, dungeons, raids, battlegrounds and arenas. This will be used to unlock the different traits on the weapon. In Legion we'll finally be able to use all the specs and not have to respec every time we want to do a third spec. Every class, Demon Hunters will have two specs, every other class will have three and Druids will get four. Blizzard also quickly mentioned that Karazhan will be relevant in Legion. The secrets we need to beat the Berlin Legion are locked away in Karazhan's tower. That was pretty much the whole recap of Legion. There's probably a few little things I've missed, but hopefully I've got most of the information out there for you guys. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll probably be doing a follow-up video to my thoughts on everything that they're implementing in Legion. What I'm happy about, what I'm not so happy about. Thanks for watching. Bye.